So, I was supposed to have this video out like a month and a half ago. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But the video is here now, and that's all that matters. So let's rank Hell's Paradise. For all the people new to this series, let's go over the commandments, shall we? I must pick a favorite character. Number two, if I ranked an anime already and a new season of said anime comes out, I must make an updated video to it. Number three, if I get enough comments to re-rank an anime because you all feel the ranking is unfair of some kind, then I must do it. And number four, I must find at least one lesson of value to take away from the show I am ranking. Now with the semantics out of the way, let's rank the show. Now you might be thinking, isn't the premise of this show a bit, well, simple? And yeah, you're not wrong. Picture this. You got this guy and a bunch of other badasses stranded on an island chasing after a mystical sip of the legendary slurp juice. No one's ever survived on this island and hell, no one even knows if this liquid gold is even real. But guess what? That's exactly what makes it so damn interesting. Now let's talk characters because Hell's Paradise is packing some seriously well written and unique characters. I'm talking character arcs that hit harder than your last gacha pool. These characters grow and evolve like they've been taking lessons from a Pokemon. It's like watching a shonen protagonist level up in real time. Oh, and the character interactions? It's like they were lifted straight out of that one fanfic you never published. Authentic, natural, and oh so addicting. We're talking a squad of morally great convicts and executioners, and honestly, they're more lovable than your favorite tsundere. With my favorite character being the best girl, Yuzuriha, of course. But let's not forget the real star of the show. The action sequences. It's like the anime creators decided to dump the entire truckload of adrenaline onto your screen. The choreography is so on point that it could probably teach you a thing or two about hitting the gym. And speaking of hitting, the way they showcase the brutality and intensity in those fights, it's enough to even make the most battle-hardened weebs heart race. But hold on, I'm not here to shower praise onto this show like it's a summer convention. You see, I've got one problem with this show, and only one, and that's with the animation. Don't get me wrong, it's good really good but when you're animated by a studio like mappa you're held to a higher standard and i mean a really high standard the animation starts off like a speedster on energy drinks and it kind of mellows out as the series rolls on don't get me wrong it's not a deal breaker but come on if you flex those animation muscles on other shows we expect you to bring the whole gym now let's talk about the sweet sweet mysticism Hell's Paradise takes you on a wild ride of discovery, dropping breadcrumbs like a Hansel and Gretel fever dream. You think you're getting closer to understanding the islands and its secrets, and BAM! Plot twists like a cliffhanger on steroids. But in all seriousness, these guys make you feel like you're deciphering a whole anime da Vinci code. But I think the most important thing to take away from this show is the complexity of morality and redemption. Throughout the series, many characters are introduced who have committed heinous crimes or made morally questionable choices. However, as the story unfolds, the backgrounds and motivations of these characters are explored, often revealing reasons behind their actions. This complexity challenged a simplistic notion of good and evil, highlighting how people can be shaped by their circumstances and experiences. This theme serves as a reminder that understanding the depth of human nature requires looking beyond initial judgment and considering the broader context. It encourages empathy and the recognition that redemption and change are possible, even for those who have made grave mistakes. Mistakes. Additionally, Hell's Paradise delves into the concept of personal growth and transformation. Characters confront their past, confront their flaws, and strive to become better individuals. This emphasizes the importance of self-awareness and the continuous pursuit of self-improvement. But of course, what do I know? I'm just a guy that watches anime all day. Now, as much as I wish I can binge watch anime all day, that's not the case, unfortunately. So what's the verdict for this show? Drum roll, please. I'm gonna throw Hell's Paradise into A tier. Overall, Hell's Paradise is an anime that has something for everyone. The story is compelling, the characters are well written, and the artwork and animation are top tier. The island itself is a character, with its own secrets and mysteries, and the story is full of twists and turns. The anime does a great job of capturing the beauty and horror of the island, making it a character in its own right. The action sequences are well choreographed and visually stunning, which makes them more engaging and exciting. Despite some criticism regarding certain aspects, Hell's Paradise has proven to be enjoyable and captivating. But with all that being said, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, it'll really help me out with that YouTube algorithm. If there's an anime you want to see me rank, let me know down below in the comments. And let me know what you thought about this ranking. Was it fair? Not fair? Let me know. I can say they're hitting that subscribe button. But with that being said, uh, yeah. Thinking you every day.
in the face with a pretty face, laced with the fate. Had it all ends one day. I don't really wanna change, I don't tell the truth. I don't really see a point if I don't trust you. I know how you wanna feel, I bet you wanna heal, I bet you wanna see.